That Jaden Reed catch. That was like, ridiculous. Like, when he threw that up there, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm probably the biggest Jordan Love stand. I was like, oh, shit, that's getting picked off. I'm watching it. It's getting, it's getting picked. It's getting picked. I'm like, what? We have reverse Madden curse, by the way. I was just thinking of a name for um, people doing well after they come on the podcast. Oh, yeah. To tune into Dylan Reverse Curse. We call it consternation. What does that mean? It just pretty much means just mind fucking people. No such thing as too much tuning into Dylan. That's so true. So true. Speaking of something that's not forever. <laughs> Jets fired their head coach today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome back to Tune Into Dylan, episode 24. New studio, check it Brand out. Brand new studio. As you guys watch on YouTube and Spotify video, uh, definitely check out some of the stuff we got in the back. I feel like every episode you might see something new. We'll throw some Easter eggs in there. Oh yeah. 25, we got to do something special. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited for our, uh, Halloween and Valentine's Day. Yes, those are we get we Christmas. Got, you got to dress up. Thanksgiving. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an Irishman. Man, uh, well, how about our last guest? We had Tucker Craft on, and I think we're 100% so far. This is a tune in Dylan stat. After a guest, after an offensive guest has been on our podcast for football players, they have scored in the next game. 100%. Yeah, is that E. Will? Uh, Emmanuel Wilson, Alan Lazard. Yeah. And uh, did, Tucker Craft. What about Noah Fant? Did he score after? Yeah, he did. We'll say he did. Well, we'll, we'll just say everybody in Green Bay. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, everybody in want, Green Bay. If you want to have a successful game, uh, just come on the Tune to Dylan podcast mm-hmm. and uh, you'll light it up, man. Two touchdowns. Shout out Tuck, man. Shout out Tuck. Burn down your childhood home, dude. Craft. <laughs> what was it? What are they? Craft Ma- Yak and Cheese. Craft Yak and Cheese. Yes. That's I a good think one. it's going to happen, man. I, we talked about it enough. We tagged Craft Mac and Cheese probably 100 times. I mean, that one clip that uh, Shineman posted of us got like yeah. a million clicks too so yeah, that was pretty sick uh speaking of clicks make sure you guys like subscribe follow share everything we appreciate it we actually got this little trusty counter here so if you guys happen to follow us while mid pod we'll see it let's grow that number let's uh make tune into dylan the biggest yeah. podcast in this basement all right yeah, yeah <laughs> we actually got sure. a rival pot across the hallway <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yeah well, we should do something like once it hits like three thousand or like every thousand we should do like every a little thousand well, what if we, I mean, we might take off here. But if we, t- yeah, that's so true. So, like, yeah, we got to hit thresholds. <laughs> like, like, you got to think, like, the people who have, like, 100,000, like. Once, uh, once we, once we get to 10, then we'll do it by five increments. Okay, but in the mean, so what are we going to do? For the thousands? Ooh, that's D- a good question. Chug three beers? <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just chug a beer. Ripped pot. <laughs> uh, Oklahoma drill. Oklahoma. We put, I put on that helmet with the light and you put <laughs> on the ash <Ashwaldi>. wild. <laughs> I put on the, I put on the old bucket there. You check out the Wisconsin football meal. I went, I was. Yeah, what is that? I was organizing down the basement and uh i was moving all my old college letters my mom kept them all and she sent them out and uh trey he loves lanyards he loves oh, to yeah, put on I saw any that. lanyard so i just put on like all my recruiting visits and that's how like you knew like you had swag in high school oh like, yeah if you had the recruiting tag like i went to a pro day or not pro day <laughs> but a uh, spring game like i was like oh he's sick yeah and so i had trey running around with him but I was looking. I had all these uh, Wisconsin football ones. One day we'll we'll read what's inside that one. But it's a, oh yeah, it's a goodie. It's that, a goodie. Is we'll, it a good we'll, one? Is that it, from is that from head coach? It's a good one. Okay, it's a, all right. It'll it'll be a conversation well, piece about, for sure. We should maybe do that for once we hit three thousand followers. We'll, we'll maybe read that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let the people people say we're gonna and you know let us know in the comments what we, what should we do every yeah. thousand you know let's let's have some fun this is a community pod we're building a tune into dylan community yeah here. love the youtube comments and getting active also the feedback's great too you feedback know, is some great audio, audio issues but you know this one will be good this one will be the Fingers best crossed. one but yeah man I'm, dude how, how would that packers w though hey packers is? dub was great um the one thing i will say uh being on this side of it being on ir this year i go to the home games but obviously um, I don't go to the away games. And so watching it, I think it's so crazy. Just like I get so into it because I know all the plays. Like yeah, I'm yeah. watching and I'm like, bro, you missed, like you missed it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Jordan, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but uh, dude, the, the craziest thing to me, and like I still have no words. And I was in there uh, talking to the guys today. I'm like, that Jaden Reed catch. That was like, ridiculous. Like, when he threw that up there, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm probably the biggest Jordan Love stand forever. I mm-hmm. have been, even since, you know, the I was beating him in ping pong back in the day. <laughs> uh, but, like, I was like, oh, shit, it's getting picked off. I'm watching it. It's getting, it's getting picked. It's getting picked. I'm like, 
what? <laughs> yeah, you launched that thing, man. That's a that brought me back to the old Favre days when it'd just be like, yeah, fuck it, he'll go get it, you know. Like I mean, that he, was, he was wearing that jersey just one yeah. week too soon. Yeah, just one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I guess he threw for what, like three hundred or three ninety that week though. I still. don't know, man. I'm not a stat counter, bro. I'm a I'm a film watcher. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we wa- we watch ball. We don't watch Dude. box scores. No sir, no. Uh, I did play against Tucker in fantasy football though, and I am pissed. Oh yeah, I'm I had him. Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I had a, I so this is my first year playing fantasy football, uh, playing for free, you know, no no gambling, um, but I'm playing fantasy football and um, I can see why people I get some of these angry DMs now. <laughs> you, you understand <laughs> for the people who like really put money in there and like mm-hmm. they're like like gambling like their life savings on it type yeah. shit. Like I, I I I understand it. I respect it. I respect it. I think like because I had ni- I was ninety nine percent on the little ESPN. Oh no, ninety nine to one. And I'm playing against Tucker and J Lo. I'm like, all right, like these guys can do all right without doing crazy good and still win the game. We're good. Right. And Tucker just is just going crazy, <laughs> leading good. the league for tight end points. <laughs> I'm like, what are we doing? Dude, it happens. It's, you know, honestly, yeah, like he's like, you get fired up because yeah. like you'll be in a group chat with somebody and somebody just be yeah. cooking you for your team Dude. and your decisions or who you decide to start. And it's Dude. like Oh, oh, and I had Joe Burrow. I oh. had Joe Burrow. The, on my team this whole year, and I had Baker Mayfield on my bench, and he'd been balling and balling and yeah, balling. Yeah. So I'm like, then, all right, I'll get Baker Mayfield to start. Joe Burrow goes for five touchdowns. <laughs> it's turning into a fantasy pod. Yeah, so, 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 so I get it. I yeah, get it. All right, I, cool. Yeah. Respect. Respect to the burners. Oh, man. Shout out the burners. <laughs> I got I to gotta, I gotta make a burner one day. Oh, yeah. I don't have one. If I, I'm going to name it Quads for us. Quads, well, now, quads now, us. now you're quads already doxxed. So but that's I'll the, just, but like, it'd be so obvious that it's it's not. Yeah, yeah just, just complete <laughs> just denial. Just hiding in plain sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not AJ Dillon. Dude, my favorite one right now is the uh, Deshaun Watson. I forget the name of his Twitter, but there's some guy with no Twitter avi just in the comments like, you know, it's actually, it's not his fault. <laughs> like, it's like, uh, dude, I don't uh, know. We're wa- we watch ball like we said. We don't just look at box scores. We but both watch. say, hey. Time for Jameis Winston, brother. Eating W's. I need a I need a Jameis Winston speech. That's one thing. Like, uh, I get asked sometimes. You're like, what? Like, what player is like you wish you could play with? Sometimes I get like those type of questions. It's like, mm-hmm. dude, I played with Aaron Rodgers. You know, Star Jordan Love. You know, I played with Aaron Jones. Like some awesome people. Some awesome people, and even like Zay Flowers in college. Like yeah. I played with some great people. Creed Humphreys, some- right? What? No, that's a different. I'm thinking of somebody. That's that's not a BC guy. Right, I'm bro. thinking Litter Bomb or something. All right, bro. Like it. Oh, yeah. t- Chris Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Chris Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Yes, yes, He's yes. I got to get better on my O line. No, that's all good, bro. Just, I mean, as a running back, I know my O line. Yeah, yeah. So. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but, I got to uh, be better about the trenches, man. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> but I feel like being in a huddle with Jameis, like pre game, and I just like, I want to hear one of those speeches because I feel like I would just be trying to follow along. I'm like, I don't know what he's saying, but I like I like what he's saying. Let's Dude, do it. I forget what pl- I gotta be better about these quotes, but I know one player said like James James Winston tells it like it's a mystery every time he's in the huddle. Yeah. Like he's do the play call. It's like all right, we got you know X right, you know all this sh- all this stuff. But, twelve yeah. duo, twelve duo Qu- yeah. with a question mark at the end. Yeah, twelve duo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looking around, looking around. Twelve duo. Like, yeah. I, I don't know, man. You're a quarterback. <laughs> you, got, you got the headphones. On. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Go, I hope so. go out there. It's another going to the other side. You're taking the wrong footwork. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like that time where I didn't hear Jordan and I ran over him on the. Oh yeah, that was a lot. That was a Thanksgiving game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Twitter blew up after that one. They're like, what, what are we doing? Yeah, What's we got in there. On? We got in there. He said, "All right, uh, twelve duo. Uh, actually, thirteen. Uh, twelve. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Which one was it? I yeah. lost now. Yeah. That's... But I went out there and hurdled somebody. The next play, I got a big first down. So Hell yeah, yeah, next bro. play mentality. Got the turkey leg when you got back home. The tur- Jor- uh, Fox owes Jordan Love a turkey leg. Let's not forget, Lever- never let that die down. Yeah, we got a Thanksgiving game this year against Miami, right? So he'll need two. Last time Miami came out here. Uh, it's Christmas. Or no, for, no. For, yeah, Christmas game. No, no, it was the no. Browns that came out oh. here for Christmas. You guys went to Miami for Christmas. Yes. Well, we have a good track record. Yeah, holiday get, games. Uh, holidays. Holiday games been smooth. Holidays, Christmas, Christmas win, and yep. Thanksgiving win. Yeah. That's Any all the, other ones? That's all the ones I've been a part of. Any Halloween I've, games? No, never on Halloween, I don't think. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's on a Thursday. We this played year. some Christmas Eves. I think we played and and New Year's Eve we won against the Vikings. Yes, yes, that's right. Packers Watch that are at good the, Packers are good in the holidays. Yes. <laughs> yeah, holiday season. We have reverse Madden curse, by the way. I was just thinking of a name for um, people doing well after they come on the podcast. Oh, yeah. It's the tune into Dylan reverse curse. Yeah, the reverse curse. The reverse curse. Tune into yes. Dylan reverse curse. Yeah, so uh yeah, let's get some let's get some guys on here. Yeah, if we Turn have around. a guest on just 
I'm not telling you what to do, but I'd pick him up. <laughs> I'd pick him up. I'd put him on the roster. <laughs> uh, speaking of speaking of sports, bro, I have recently, within like the last year and a half, become a big, big Brewers fan. Okay. Um, and like, not only like as far as I don't watch that much baseball. Like, I'm not watching all 156. But right. But there's a game on, and the Brewers are on, and I'm, I'll, I'll put them on in the background while I'm cooking or something. Or my wife's cooking. Or Andoozies. And I'm eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's the special at Andoozies? Uh, two 22-ounce Miller Lights for 7 bucks at Andoozies. Yeah, no no free promo, but, like, I mean, that's a great deal. <laughs> that is such a crazy <laughs> that's deal. That's a great deal. <laughs> Only during the Brewer game, so, yeah. Yeah, and um, I was one of my good friends, Tommy, who we had on the podcast, Tommy Povinelli. He's a big Mets fan. Uh, and so he's like he's like diehard. So the first win, he's texting me. He's like, "Oh shit!" Like da 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 da. Yeah, he like, was Brewers, he was Brewers who, Brewers who. Then we won. And then I so I Facetimed him before the game. And I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" And he's like, "Bro, I can't talk. I got I got to sit in my special chair. I got my spe- <laughs> I got I got my special underwear on. Like like no bullshit." I'm <laughs> he's like, like Frank the Tank. Yeah, I'm like, "All right, bro. All right." And so then we then we then we score. Then we do back to back home runs. I'm face out. I'm face out. <laughs> no he answer. No answer. Like oh, like dude. he's pressing the button. It doesn't even go go that quick. <laughs> he's pressing the button. I'm texting and no response. Then Pete Alonzo home oh. run, and then then all of a sudden my phone started blowing up. That's not fair. If you're gonna brag, you got to be able to take it when. Yeah, it happens. bro. You gotta you gotta. It's gotta be reciprocal. You know, you gotta yeah. be able to dish it, but also take it. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Like. Yeah, you're a Wisconsin. Sports I mean, I've been fan. a Wisconsin sports fan, but like how I guess you could say Tommy supports the Mets. Like that's pretty much that's really just the Packers for me. Like obviously I root for the Brewers and root for the Bucks, but like diehard Packers fan before yeah. anything else. Grew up with. I mean, I, I saw the Bucks win like 15 games in one season. We we watched a lot of games because it was yeah. it was fun. Like Mearsloff and Mike Dunleavy getting buckets out there, <laughs> and it's just like Brandon Jennings, Bucks and Six, like forever legend. So always been a fan, but never had expectations. It's kind of just. I don't know. It's just kind of been like for the Brewers too. It's just been disappointing because we have been having such great teams. Yeah. Like in 2018 when we made that run, and then uh, this last year too, I really thought we had a great shot. But it's just kind of yeah. like the Packers always. You, you like mm-hmm. I saw them win a Super Bowl. You know. Yeah. And now now the Bucks. It's <clears> like <throat> oh I saw them win a championship. Now it's just kind of like waiting for that Brewers tip over. And when yeah. that happens, I, I do I do have a like maybe maybe it's a little too PC, but like a PC take on the the whole thing. I mean like. Some teams, some places just have shitty teams forever. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, at least all the Wisconsin sports are always in it. You right. Know, they, and we have you, MVPs, you, too. You, really, you have MVPs. You have, like, all-stars. You got, like, young players who are always coming on the scene. I will say, you know, obviously you want to win them all. But in the, just the sense of, like, because I always see, like, Wisconsin sports for another heartbreak. It's like, Like, yeah. you also... It's We're, nice to be able to experience the heartbreak. There's some people out there that are going to the games, like season ticket holders. At like a baseball game or something, and their team had won like a million years. Right, <laughs> like they, yeah, like, they're literally. diehards. I'm just trying to get to playoffs. I think of like I Oakland, die. dude, or like you know, like you're yeah. an A's yeah. Raiders fan. Like yeah. that's just so brutal. Now we're we're blessed as Wisconsin fans, not as much as uh, as a Boston fan, no, a New England no. fan. Those I mean, guys, the they, of, that's just the worst. The like, amount of victory parades I went to oh, in stop. high school was ridiculous. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, like I thought, I was like, oh, everybody has Super Bowl parades. Yeah, we just win in Boston. No, <laughs> yeah, we no. do. I, mean, I was so jealous as a kid. Like 07, I think they won like the. Uh, yeah. Did they win the world? No, they won the. Um, the Celtics won, and then uh, I think the Patriots were like what, yeah, eighteen I mean, and zero at the time. Or, the era. Yeah, just peak of it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just crazy. But yeah, no, shout out Wisconsin sports. I think I think the Bucks. I love Giannis. You know, Giannis is that guy. It's it's cool to have like a player like that, but also yeah. like having Christian and now Jordan. We had I gotta get a Giannis jersey. You have one. I I have a Giannis jersey. I gotta yet. get a Giannis jersey. We I, I know at some point I've been on the analysis. On yes, the analysis podcast. He said he'd come on ours, so we'll have him on. I, I need a Giannis jersey. I gotta go. I gotta get down there. I've been to enough Bucks games now. I got that whole jersey wall that used to be our backdrop. Yes. We need a Giannis one out there. You got yep. Yelich. We got you know all the Packer guys. We got Jordan Love. Yeah, you yeah. Need, you need a Bucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't even have it the Nassus either. Yeah, gotta, that's get, crazy. gotta get a Bucks player. You brought it up earlier, Brandon Jennings. Yes. For those who are not familiar, shooting your shot normally pretends to let's just say a guy thinks a. Uh, a girl is, you know, cute or something on Instagram. You go like a couple pictures maybe, and then you go in the DMs and you say, hey, can I have your Snapchat, your number? Can I take you out on a date, something like that? I might have shot my shot at Brandon Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, I, I messaged him the other day. Hey, 
would you come on the podcast? Yeah, any so, response? No response. But okay. Just because it's up there doesn't mean it didn't go through. It's still up there. I, I shot still from half there. court. Yeah. I shot from half court. Shot from so half like, court. We'll see. So tag Brandon Jennings in the comments. Get him on the pod. Yeah, let's get... I'd love to talk to Brandon Jennings, man. He'd be... That'd be a blast, That'd be unreal. He's a legend, Talk about a Wisconsin pod. Yeah, absolute legend, bro. (laughs) Fear the deer back in the day. I mean, he started Bucks and Six. Like, I don't think people really realize that. I didn't know that. That's the first time. Yeah, it was going into the... uh, It was peak Heat series when they were the one seed and we were the eight seed. Um and like LeBron, Bosch, Wade, all this stuff, and I want somebody to follow us. So. Yeah, it happened right before we start recording. I know, I know. Anyway, um, he's getting an interview from ESPN, and she's the interviewer was like, "So you, you think you got a shot?" He's like, "Of course, of Bucks course. and Six. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, man. well, we, maybe we'll be able to add the clip in it, but yeah, it's it's iconic, and yeah, that's where that's where it stems from, man. Bucks and Six forever. Brandon Jennings. Speaking of something that's not forever. <laughs> Jets fired their head coach today. Oh my god! <laughs> is that a two? Is that was that a crazy transition? I couldn't I, honestly. I couldn't believe that. Like that really surprised me. I don't know. I think that like that's just like an organization that's just a dumpster fire. All I feel the time. like they weren't that bad. I don't I know. Mean, what's their record? Are they? They have a losing record. I know that. Yeah. They, but okay. I don't I, know what like what are, what I, were they? I didn't. This is. Yeah, this yeah. is just we only paid attention really to the box score and the fact that the loss. Like we yeah. didn't actually I watch, watch any, any of the ball. Jets ball. But that's also probably for a reason. I mean Yes. So like I don't know, like sometimes coaches make like really like what were you thinking? Timeout mistakes yeah. or challenge mistakes or personnel or like forcing a trick play and stuff and like that'll get you fired midseason. But I mean them just like not really performing that well and just I don't know. Yeah. No. It's just it's just all odd to me. It's just Dumpster fire Jets. My buddy I, <laughs> Will hates the Jets. I hate the Jets because my buddy James Morgan. Shout out James Morgan. James same, Morgan. Same draft class as AJ. First person I met. Keep, keep a hold of where you're going yeah, with yeah. this. But first person I met in Green Bay, first NFL player was James Morgan. James Morgan and um, I met him and we threw. I think we went and threw at at Swabin or maybe it was just Synergy. I can't remember. We were throwing around a little bit. I met James. And I was sold. I'm like, this guy, dude. James, he, he is. He's gonna be. He's gonna be elite. And I, I have the. I probably have the best card collection. I'm a big card collector. We'll talk about that on some episode if you don't yeah. already know. But, um, I'm, I had. I went out and I collected. Anytime people would rip a James Morgan card, I'd be like, I need it. I'd buy it. I have. I yeah. probably spend like two thousand dollars on James Morgan <laughs> cards. No bulls. Like, yeah, bro. And I have like one of ones. I got these like sick autographs. Yeah, it was shout out to Schwab on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we played together in Roll high Jacks. school. He was. Uh, I mean, he was. What six four six four six three yeah. and just like rocket arm started as a so, sophomore like I mean he was I don't know if he was first team all state but I mean for a high school quarterback we ran a spread and it was elite yeah. so he gets drafted in with the fourth round we're we're all excited for about sure. it because we're like hell yeah like but he goes to the Jets you know and it's just like Adam Gase's eyes are like this in an interview and it just looks like a shit show and sure enough it is and then they drafted Zach Wilson that turned out. I don't know. It's just it just pissed me off. It just kind of like made him a little bit of a journeyman. But he's in the CFL now. I know that, and he's he's doing good. Uh, and he got James married. Morgan's gonna be good wherever James he ends Morgan's up and guy. whatever he ends up doing. He's just he's just that dude. Yes, we need him on the pod. That would be a fun podcast. James, come fun. on the podcast, dude. Talk about us, Robin. To talk about I, I'm, the a, I'm a big I'm a big I'm a big ass Robin Jags. Roll dude. Jags, yes. dude. Not uh, having a great football season, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but. so sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't know Will hated the Jets so much. Yeah, <laughs> I really do not like the Jets. And the fact that Tommy's a fan and Mets fan, like it just that I is, gotta it's that just, is fair. And but, especially after they got like after the Jets got uh Rod, Rogers. But Brett too. Brett was just kind of like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just a young kid. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, that just happens. Yeah, but Rogers and like they're like, oh, I just remember just like, yo, we fleeced you guys like for sure on this yeah. because it's just you guys have so many more holes in your team than a quarterback. Yeah. Like that is I, not. I, your I feel like you just got to start with the O line. It's always the trenches, man. Like I, I don't like once again, not a not a ball watcher when it comes to the Jets. No, that's kind of s- pause. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> I don't watch much Jets film, so I don't know. But I'm I just I just see the clips on ESPN and the, just him getting hit all the time. I'm like, bro, you got to make sure he's. Good. I mean, he's. He's not as nimble. I mean, an well, Achilles even, injury is like that's tough to come back from. Like, imagine yeah. like trying to like sprint off that. Like, yeah, that's, but it's, or not, like, it's not even that. I mean, it's just like I mean, you got Hall of Fame, like Hall of Fame arm, like right. In my opinion, best to ever throw the ball. Best throw of the football. Best I'll throw of the football. That. So just 
do whatever you can to make put six guys on the O line. Seriously, max protect and <laughs> max like, protect and like give them a shot. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe I you know. Once I think again, another thing. Actually, I do remember this. There yeah. was another thing too. Like the uh, what I read was that like the Jets offense mm-hmm. has the least amount of motion. Like they motion, we have the most and, we, and the Packers motion. have the most. And I think that's just kind of the trend. You got motion twin. Yeah, we got motion <laughs> twin. No, 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 it's just like I think that's just the way of the league right now and trending yeah. to. I mean, you saw. Yeah, the, I mean, it's just. I mean, we call it consternation. What does that mean? It just pretty much means just mind fuck the defense. Okay, like, yeah. I mean, like you got so many moving pieces, like everything on a defense, like is communication. Right. Like you're, you're middle linebacker off. normally, and you know you pass it off to the leader of the D, it's the secondary and the leader of the o, o, uh, D line, and then but like when you move, you're flipping your front, you're moving the strength, you move a tight end. We move Tucker all the time. He's right. In the backfield, then he's out wide, and then, then he leaked out wide open. Then yeah. he's out slot, and then he looks like he's doing the same thing every single play, like. One thing we do a really good job at, and we're not gonna. I don't need to get. No, I, I it, think but, people. I think the people really enjoy these types of conversations because yeah, like, I've never. What is it? Consternation. Con, I think it's a made up word. I don't know. But that's what we call. It. We got to find the definition. Consternate. You just you just blow their mind. It's just like oh, like it's just so many things coming at you, and it's like no diddy. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> but it's uh. but it's just like it's just one of those things where, as a I mean as a linebacker, like they study film too. They see your tendencies. But if you're running something over the course of a game that we're just going to keep running this run play, run play, run play, and you see everybody doing the same motion, then we come back with that same exact motion, and now it's a pass, and that guy you thought was going to come block you, you're bracing for the hit, but he actually slips by right. you wide open. So I think we do a lot of really good things we, with the offense. Chestnut checkers. Yes. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I saw the Rams. Sean McVay was really good about that, too. I, I remember one play specifically they had Witherspoon um, – motion and then leak through and ran through the tackle and tight end spot yeah. it's like well whose responsibility is that yeah you yeah. know but was it a just... zone was it a man like it was like i'm like that's a genius play call because you know motions traditionally going up the field as a receiver do not does not split the tight end tackle yeah. or any any gap within the trenches so for sure i i do want to talk about one thing before ah, i got so many things i'm talking to yeah you bro about. we can, we can it's, maybe... it's been a minute it has been <laughs> it's been like a week uh, <laughs> it's been a week <laughs> hey do you guys like the new podcast one a week tune into dylan yeah 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 give us feedback on that you know is it is it too much what do you want longer time yeah. shorter time no huh? such thing as too much tune into dylan that's so true So true. The one last thing I wanted to say about the Jets was that I've seen people, so I've seen people get cut, obviously, from the team. Yeah. And you kind of, kind of know, like the, the scout comes and grabs you and everybody looks around and say, ah, all right. He knocks on the door, you know. And I remember as a rookie thing, it was the craziest thing. We were walking back one day and right as soon as we got in the door, you know, there's just a couple guys waiting for some of the undrafted guys. And that was that. But like they pretty much did him based on what Bleacher Report said. They did him like that. Like I've never seen, like, Escorted out of the facility by team security and was not allowed to meet with the players or inform the team. That's wild. So like, so, I just feel like that. Bow. That's <laughs> such bad ball. Like that's just like to me that's just bad culture. Like that just yeah. speaks on the Jets organization. Like that's I'll, <laughs> bro. I'm a I'm a big hater. I'm you, sorry. You're a like big hater. I, hey, I, I, Jets hey. Jets fans come at me. It's like whatever. Like yeah. honestly. Hey, but. I re- I respect that. I respect that. The people I don't like are the wishy washy people. I know you're a big Packer fan. I know you're a Jets hater. Done deal. I, I mean yeah. I, I'll yeah. Never, I mean I'll never I, they'll probably agree with me. They're probably like what the fuck. <laughs> like honestly. Like what's what's going on? Like what are we doing? Because <laughs> who are I mean we? I know my friends who are Bears fans. Yeah, and they're always like, "Well, the Packers just consistently have good coaching, and it's just a good organization. It's yeah, all yeah. bullshit." It's like, "Well, yeah, <laughs> that's just, that's, <laughs> that's just the way it's it a is. good organization. That's where it starts from the top, man." Yeah. Did you see the big man uh, touchdown or not touchdown? Oh, sorry. the pick. The pick? <laughs> oh yes, dude. That dude took off, bro. Dude. I, yeah, that was impressive. You know, I, I'm curious. And he was like, I think he like broke a tackle. Or yeah, yeah. He he slipped out one. So I mean, I was I was big like, 50, big he, he picks it. You know, it's like go down, go down. You're in the end zone. Like take the touchback. Yeah. You know that's plus two points there, and this is, ah, dude, and it's oh, we got movement. Two followers. Do we get do we, two? It oh, was nice. Yeah, that shot. That's that. Damn, that's pretty cool. That is sick. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's two people followed at once. Let me. Ch- we got a, ch- a little, little fact check. Make yeah, sure it's make sure it's real. We just set this up today. Maybe maybe give him a shout. It out. It is. Just give him a shout out. Shout out, Peter Rainbow. Peter Rainbow. Appreciate you just following tuning. Maybe, maybe. We're not gonna do that for every single follower, but. Yeah, maybe we might get some started. Send you a T-shirt or something. We're doing weekly now, so we can talk about some current events. Do you want to stick football, or do you want to talk about what you did this weekend? Um, well, both. 
but yeah. I could. I, I mean, it was kind of a big weekend for me. Yeah, huge weekend. Where, you know, where'd you go? What'd you do? I I just genuinely don't know. I know you went to Arizona, but yeah. You know. So so uh, <coughs> getting getting married in the spring um, out in Arizona. Mm-hmm. My uh, fiance Chloe went to school out there at ASU, and her sister currently goes out there. So dovetailed a family weekend at ASU uh, and a little bit of uh, checking out the wedding venue and doing the uh, wedding tasting or the food tasting. The wedding tasting. The wedding tasting. Wedding cake tasting. So. There you go. How was it? What was your favorite flavor? Uh, so just like the vanilla with the buttercream vanilla frosting uh, along with the raspberry frosting. We got granola dad here. Granola. Yeah, dude. I'm a little basic <laughs> with the cakes, dude. Honestly, like I'm, I'm not a big, I'm not a big chocolate cake guy. I just think like, I got you. You can't have like a big piece of chocolate cake. I feel like you can do that with the vanilla though. I got you. Do you, do you agree? Uh, I, I'm not really a big cake guy in general. S- same I, here. I'm a, I'm a like sorbet and ice cream guy. Okay. Or gelato. Sarah's gelato guy. So, yeah. Shout out Sarah's gelato. Um, we gotta stop giving up free promo, but Sarah Gelato is not free promo. That's yeah, our, that's yeah, our wait, guy. we got it. Yeah, we got it free for life too. So yeah, so I, shout I out. Did, we need a pint. That Ooh. should be what we should do. Yes. We should have to first person to finish the pint, just straight brain freeze. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> Uh, not oh. terrible. The gelato is fantastic, but yeah. So we uh, so did the food tasting. How did hot like, was it down there? Dude, I mean, it was 110 degrees, and so Chloe's like went to school out there. She's like, uh, like she's Just like wearing a sweater. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, oh, the heat. I love the heat. Like the heat's the best. And I'm like, all right, like it's not. She's like, it's not that bad. And like you know, you do. I had camp in August. Like it was yeah. 95 on the turf with the pads on. Like I know heat. Mm-hmm. 110 degrees is not just like it's not bad because it's oh it's dry heat. No, that shit is so hot, dude. dude <laughs> I know heat. <laughs> yeah, it's it was terrible. I mean, it was like it it was not for me. That's yeah. all I can say yeah, about yeah. it. I I I do like when it's warmer weather, yeah. but when the sun goes down and you're like, oh, finally the sun's down, like <laughs> it's gonna cool off, and then you just feel like a sun coming up from the concrete, like yeah. and it's still 97 degrees at 7:30. Like I was getting a little irritated, dude. Yeah. I couldn't cool off. Like, <laughs> I, I was about to blow up. <laughs> I was I was about to crash out, dude. Like Chloe's like, you were cranky the whole weekend. I'm like, yo, like I don't handle the heat well now. I, I guess overheat. I learned that. Yeah, I was not happy about it. So, so we, I don't need to put you moving to Arizona on my bingo card. Uh, yeah, for the time being, I definitely would say no on that. But honestly, though, I, it was it was really cool. Like where our wedding venue is, Chloe. I know you're gonna be listening to this, so I love it there for the wedding venue and where I we're gonna be it. having it. It's gonna be. It's going to be perfect. Will's over here like, Chloe, our wedding venue is going to be perfect. I love everything that we did this weekend, <laughs> yeah. and I love all the cakes. I'm down to agree with anything that you say. And no, I'm no, so no, happy. no. I I'm so happy. that. <laughs> hold up. Hold How up. angry did you get? <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know, He's man. fighting his way out the dog house. Dog house. Yeah, a little bit, to be honest with you. I just didn't handle the heat well. Yeah, I and, my brother. And we I, went to the spot to like watch the Packer game, and the only spot to sit was like outside, and I was pretty i was i was not happy about it to be honest with you but it was still a lot of fun i mean watch the packers win so what did you do you just sat outside and watched the game uh for the first half yeah i was i was out i was out there just like drinking beer not saying a word and everyone's like what's wrong i'm like i'm just i'm just too hot right now it's just (laughs) too hot for me right now you know and And they were losing the like they they weren't weren't jordan throws this pick and everyone's like i'm like what was that you know i'm getting frustrated i'm just i was just overheated dogs barking yeah dude i got these yeah there's like (laughs) this one rams fan just clapping way too loud i'm like slow clap i was like you guys don't exist like we obviously like that's lambeau field west dude honestly we dominate every time we go out there when it comes to fan wise um Mm -hmm. but but then then we then i went inside found some ac found a spot so you left they do they come in with you uh no no no. Uh, they they, they just let me cool off to be honest with you that's why you're in the doghouse yeah that's that's a little bit yeah (laughs) that was your make or break i was like look like i don't feel good Type of hot, you know, like I was, I couldn't get my like core body temperature down. So yeah, I don't do well in the Arizona heat. Like that's a fact, and that's fine because the yep. Cardinals play at home this week. So there we go. Well, good to know. Yeah. You know, now uh, I did bring you down there for my bachelor party. So yeah, but it, w- when did we go? We went in April. April. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. This is like it was know, only ninety. Yeah, one hundred and ten is one hundred and ten degrees. I could like, imagine, dude. I, I I barely do well in eighty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're wa- we're walking to frat parties too, like frat tailgates. Yeah, I'm just sun's just beating on me. Yeah, you're just this is 26. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm just you're like just way older. Like, like, why, just, why can't we go to a place with misters? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, why doesn't this place have any misters? Where's the pool? Let yeah. me jump in Maya Day. Yeah, Maya. Yeah, Maya, Maya uh, Day. Maya Day's pool was jumping that day. Dude, I did not go in that, dude. But yeah, Tommy did. did. Right. Tommy and Shiz did. you drank the water. No, I didn't, dude. That water is musty, bro. It's so cloudy. You can catch on with that, dude. All right, so yeah, so I, I do want to I do want to bring this up, and I'm kind of curious on what your experience is with this. The NFL PA put out a statement saying, on behalf of our executive committee, Regarding the locker room media policy, over the past three years, the NFLPA tried to work with the NFL Pro Football Writers of America, basically saying that, you know, it's it's kind of awkward in the locker room after games yep. when reporters come up to you and talk and you're changing or yeah. you're going to the shower. I mean, you yeah, guys yeah. are... I mean, what's what's that... Ex- I mean, what's going on in that locker room at the time? And, like, is yeah. this an issue? <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'd say a couple things. My take on it, first and foremost, and... Anybody who's ever played football at any level knows the locker room is a sacred place. You know, you don't just have anybody in there, not that reporters are just... No cameras in the locker room. You know, like, in the Packers, like, you don't see much, if anything, anything in the locker room. And so, I think the way, like, we walk around, you know, we're all very, you know, just nice, like, we just have casual conversation within there. So, I think, in my experience, I've only been with the Packers, but, like, it is tough... when you kind of go in there and like you're changing <clears throat> and there's a whole big crowd but somebody else who's trying to you know they're trying to change but they're they're getting asked a question and this guy's walking in the bat- bathroom and you're trying to like oh like let me make sure my dick's not on the camera yeah right <laughs> like, like and, I, I can, and are there female reporters in there too yeah there's female reporters you know in in all honesty like I, I saw like i saw that tweet and i saw the bunch of the comments and other people's responses i feel like it is as, if we're gonna get into it if we're really gonna talk about it like The one thing I will say is that, and I'll give, you know, female reporters their props, is, like, to be a female reporter for the NFL and to, like, get those licenses and stuff, like, you really got to fucking grind. Like, that is an industry where it's a lot harder for a female to, like, make her headway. So I would say to a lot of those comments that I saw, oh, they're looking at this and that. They're they're gazing. Yeah. I I, I would say in my experience, that's not so much the case because like, I mean, they're not going to waste their job over some shit they could see online. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they're working their ass out. But And they're also married. Like I I think of like Olivia Harlan, who's a good friend of ours and she does, she's so good at her job. Uh, Yeah. Olivia Harlan Decker. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, And she's so... She's phenomenal yeah. at her job, you know. But yeah, it's 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 got to be a grind to kind of yeah. deal with that because you have to go in the locker room to yeah. ask it, yeah. those questions that other yeah. reporters. That and, it's I, and I think people assume, oh, the the lady. No, you want to talk about some tea? I seen some meat gazers. You right? got some meat gazers. That's what we call. So them. I do want to pull we up call them meat gazers. I <laughs> seen them. I seen them looking. When the tell all <laughs> podcast comes out, yeah. When the tell all comes out, that'll be a that'll, that'll be, be a topic. Yeah, episode one hundred. <laughs> episode. Oh, we'll call it out now. Episode one hundred. We just okay. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Jusek, uh, fullback for uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, the Niners. Juice. Quotes the NFL PA tween goes, maybe we can keep Grant Cohen from always <laughs> hanging, hanging around our lockers while we're changing. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> added him in everything. I just saw called, that. called him out. I I respect that. That's funny. Call dude. being called out as a meat gazer. That's that. I mean, you really don't come back from that, bro, too yeah, quickly. I, I don't know who the heck that guy, the the mm. reporter guy is, but he's bro, a Niners reporter, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, like, you'd be shocked. And I think some somebody else said it. I think was it Tory Smith. Yeah, Tory Smith said something about me gazers. He, yeah, he was like, "You'd be surprised, like some of them dudes in there." Like, I mean, it really shouldn't matter who. It doesn't matter who, what sex or whatever you are that's looking at the. the yeah, me still, gazers. it's but like, like the the misconception out there. Hey, <laughs> I you just be careful now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, that's. I, I mean, when we were in college, the rule was like no cameras in the yeah. in the locker room, like period, and yeah. having like full on. You know, reporters in there. Yeah, that's just it's. It always blew my mind. Yeah. it's kind of it's archaic, yeah. like the NFL po- PA pointed out. Yeah. And, and, and to and to get into and, and to also because <clears throat> Matt Schneiman, you know, is a fan of the podcast. Yeah, big fan of the. podcast. I will say it's not it's not like the reporters do need to do their job still. So I don't know what the solution right. is because then how are you going to get guys after the game? I don't know what that solution is, so I don't have the answer. But there is some sort of you know sometimes uncomfortability with certain people. That I've seen, in my experience. I know other players have had those altercations as well. Yeah, that's just interesting to me, though. But yeah, it shout is. out Matt Scheinman. Shout out Matt and the Athletic and the Athletic biggest listener of the podcast. He's a Syracuse alum. 
Oh, um, is he? Nice. Yep, yep. He um, was all about the dome. And um, <laughs> they carry Leave it. Dome. They leave, carry you're the dome. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, um, but yeah, Matt, great guy. Yeah. One, of my, one of my favorites in there. Um, okay, let's talk about Wisconsin, BC. Um, the Badgers got a win. Shout out, Bucky. They got a win against Purdue. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Are you, are you a big Wisconsin football fan or Wisconsin, like, University of Wisconsin sports fan? Yeah, I mean, when growing up, obviously, loved watching the Badgers. My my cousin, our cousin, Derek, yeah. went there. So that was that was a huge deal. And he went there when, I think his freshman year was when Russell Wilson was there. He'll love us talking about this, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Where in the world is Derek? Yeah, we should, maybe, we should, maybe, yeah, should we call him <laughs> right now? No, but uh, so, I, I mean, I, I was a fan growing up. It's just they've always kind of had that, like, on the cusp of being really good. Like, the Rose Bowls were probably, like, the peak of, like, Rose Bowls were the peak of what Badger football was when I was growing up. And they got to them three different times, but they never won it. I'm rooting for the Badgers when yep. they're on TV. Yeah, um, I feel that. I love the Big Ten. The big fucking this is, thir- the big thirty. This is big, um. <laughs> but you you are you are clickbait. No, I I know I know. Uh, this is big. I'm this wide is, open. I'm like, <laughs> I, uh, I enjoy the Big Ten. Uh, always root for them when they play like the SEC and ACC and Big Twelve. I think it's a great conference. Um, shout out, shout out, Claudia. Shout out, yeah, and shout especially out and especially now with Claudia being the cheerleader, that cheerleader. was that was what I was getting to. Like cheer captain now, now. yeah, cheer captain. You know what? You know what? A I got bone. a bone. I got a bone to pick <laughs> with the Big Ten Network. Oh, all right. I've watched countless Wisconsin games now, and our sister is the cheerleader down there, and the cheerleaders never get shown on the Big Ten Network. We watched when uh, it was on CBS when. Um, Wisconsin played USC. Oh, yeah. It was like 30 times, like no exaggeration, probably like 30 times the cheerleaders are shown from both sides. It's like, give the cheerleaders some love too, man. Yeah, come on, BTN. You know, I'm just, I'm, I just, I'm just sitting there every time out. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, yeah, for, I'm going to tag. Yeah, gonna like tag. the America's no. Game of the Week. Yeah, or, or, or it's whatever like, it is. Or it's like, it's like the craziest cutaways they do, the craziest B-rolls. I'm like, come on, get somebody down there on the field. You know? Yeah, come on. Get a get Where's like a pyramid access? or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Claudia does the stunts she too. Does, yeah, she does it, all the stunts. Get some fun up there. Uh that's just my my one take. I'm like, my hot take is like, I don't know who's 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 running it or who's controlling the, the BTN uh cutaways, but they need to figure it out. It's my suggestion. Also, I think big big noon kickoff is a funny bit. <laughs> big noon kickoff is actually such a great spot. I mean, that's the time you want to play a game. You get it like I the love noon our game. noon games. Yeah, noon games are yeah, I mean, Bloody Mary in football. I, I mean, just think that's it's America's a, pastime now. I just think it's a funny bit. I hate Bloody Marys. Bloody Marys, that's one thing you'll never get me on. It's tomato soup. I mean, it's good, dude. I don't know. It's not good, bro. It's it's cold tomato soup with like pepper. Like I like and Worcestershire to, and a little yeah, bit of Tabasco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just making it worse. It sounds like the and then shit, a lot of garnishes. Nah, dude. bro. It sounds like the shit you do. Like that's the one having, Wisconsin habit you've not picked up is the bloody. Mary. I won't pick it. I've tried it. It's like it just doesn't sit right with me. It's like one of those things when you have like a sleepover as a little kid and you're playing a game or whatever. Like, what's a punishment? Uh, we're gonna put all the stuff from the fridge and then make you drink it. <laughs> that's what somebody did. And they're like, huh? Like this is edible. We'll make it a drink. Dude, it's it's like. It's a stomach. It fixes your stomach up. Like no. people drink it for flights. People drink like Virgin Bloody Marys. Yeah, that's I, a real. That's a yeah, thing. I, Virgin Bloody Marys is even worse. That's literally just tomato soup. Well, yeah, just heat that shit up. It's tomato juice, not tomato no, soup. No, bro, that, bro, terrible, terrible. I like tomato soup, but not cold with pepper and Worcestershire. And <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Bro, that that is a terrible. That's a terrible bit. <laughs> yeah. We got to get you to the world's best Bloody Mary. I don't need... We'll I, find you... We're going to find you a Bloody Mary that you like. They're all the same. We're going to find you a Bloody Mary that you like. Like, that's like saying, like, the people who are, like, the bottled water, like, fanatics, like, Fiji's the best. I got to have Fiji. I got to have Boss, like they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Nah, bro. Bloody Marys are all the same. <laughs> no, nah, dude. You telling me there's a difference... There's no difference between an there's Ice pra- Mountain water bottle and a Dasani? No. 
There is a thousand percent of difference. Yeah. The, if we did a taste the, test the and you handed me you, the two the, different, the only time you got to start worrying is when it, you have like the your, your like towns or your high school's logo on that shit. Then it's like, all right, who's packaging this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Microplastics. Let's get into that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pod for another. Day. Yeah, seriously, let's go and deep into the, theories. The microplastics are everywhere. It's actually crazy. It's terrible, terrible. But well, we're a uh, we try to be organic in our household. It's tough. It's like. 80-20 is kind of our rule. 80-20? 80-20. Trying to make those cost conscious efforts to be, like, organic. Like, when we go to the store, we go to hy and we do the organic. Another shout-out. We go to the supermarket, yeah. and we get organic vegetables. <laughs> Festival's <laughs> got some organic stuff, too. Shout-out. Huh? Festival. Oh, I thought you said vegetables has some organic stuff. No, no, no. Stuff. Festival. No, no. No shout-outs. But, yeah, I, I think that's a good... That is definitely a good way to go about life of, you know, not being, I have to eat only organic and all this stuff and completely cutting out. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have a, you know, Bro, like an I, Oreo. Like, like a guy wants to have a drumstick, you know what I'm saying? That's, Dr- the drumstick conspiracy. What's that? So people are saying that drumsticks, which I'm a big fan of, is not real ice cream. And that, like, if you leave it out to freeze, it won't freeze. Or, or it like, it won't melt. melt. It won't melt. Like, it takes, like, unnaturally amount of time. Like, there's, there's all... Like, Dippin' Dots? Um, I'm not familiar with that conspiracy, but the drumstick, like, I'm very much, like, on that one. I, I have the mini drumsticks sometimes, because, mm-hmm. like, I'm like, all right, like, they're kind of like Oreos. Like, I'm like, I'll just have one mini drumstick, and then I'm like, all right, 12 <laughs> is essentially one. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 5% body fat on AJ, so don't worry yeah, about come it. come on. Been working out. I've been in the gym, man. I, you know, I had a good workout today. We call um my workout plan that I'm on. Yeah, I can say my workout plan that I'm on right now. It's you know it's like a full body workout. Like it's it's insane. But like you're hitting like every muscle group. It's like an hour, hour and a half. You do this workout, hitting every muscle group, twenty reps of everything. It's it's a grind. You're in there for a minute. Then you hop on the the um, treadmill and you put it up to sixteen incline. Sixteen incline. Sixteen incline, and you you walk on it. You're not running, but you're walking up on sixteen for like. 15 minutes and so every day i've been adding one minute one minute so now i'm at like 20 something minutes you know what i'm saying and then also with the weights that you lift every day you want to try to go up every day so it's oh like, my god so like you're just in there lift, like just feeling crazy but like it's and then right after <laughs> that you, is that is crazy right after you're done on the incline you jog into the sauna hop in the sauna and our sauna is like ridiculously hot hotter than arizona hotter than arizona for sure like bro, <laughs> like, bro you walk in there and it's like hotter ooh. than tucker's co- uh, hey, sauna no nah, no that's unregulated sauna yeah, Tucker's that's, sauna is like a, little, a literal oven like that one's actually broken like his uh <clears throat> his thermometer or whatever no yeah thermometer his thermometer is at the bottom well, yeah, and he, heat rises. Yeah, and he, so, so he's like, "Oh, it's two ten. Yeah, I remember he's like, "Bro, you want to come sauna? Like, you you got to come check out the sauna. Like, you got to sauna at the house." I'm like, "Tuck, like, yeah. I mean, like, I'd love to come check out your house, but when he said to me that when he stands up, he got a little lightheaded because of how hot it was on top where his head was. I'm like, nah. That's 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 our <laughs> nah, tight end. Bro, that's I'm our a, psychopath. I'm gonna be that, yeah. Like nobody else can talk about Tuck, but like I can talk about Tuck. That's my guy. I love yeah, him. Yeah, guy. but like." That sauna is probably hot as shit. I passed out. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's that sounds I'm not safe. Set. Yeah. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us today on the 24th episode of Tune Into Dylan. You got me and Will here, and we're fired up. Next one's a big one, 25. And uh, you know, what should we what should we do? I don't know. Guess a guest or yeah, guest or, or you know what, we favorite jersey in, 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 in the uh, closet. I don't know, dude. Jersey in the closet. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, hey, you guys, let us know what you guys want to see. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, share, tell everybody about tuning to Dylan. The community is growing. We love that you guys are listening and enjoying the content, and we're gonna keep building on it. Keep bringing you episodes every single week on Thursday. Eventually, I'm sure we'll have to have some vacation time at that. But until my wife says that I have to take a Thursday off, we're going to be bringing you guys episodes. And we appreciate you guys for listening. Yeah, sound off in the comments, too. Like, we really do read that stuff. Positive, negative. We read them all. So So when the audio was bad, we read it. We got it fixed. Um, What what you guys did like, don't like. Let me see what you guys can see in the background. Uh, Appreciate you guys. Until next Thursday. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And girls. 
and dogs and cats. Everybody can listen to the podcast. Even Dave tune in. Everybody, yeah, he's a he's a he's a he's a sneaky listener. He he listens to every episode. He's a little like behind, two, but three weeks later. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, I kind of like that. He's like, <laughs> he's like, man, that Tommy podcast. I'm like, bro, that was, <laughs> that was two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, oh, awesome. awesome.